What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on the image description features in iOS 14. Starting in iOS 14, Apple added a brand new accessibility feature called Image Descriptions. This allows the iPhone to use on-device machine learning to look at a picture and describe it for a user if they can't see it or can't see it very well. Your iPhone will still be able to use the alt text feature on social media and other websites, but in the event that a picture doesn't have that alt text or it's a picture that was sent to you or just taken, the iPhone can instead describe it to you just by looking at it without having to upload it to the cloud or do anything else. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to turn on today. So starting out in the settings app, we're gonna scroll down to the accessibility section and click on that. Then at the very top of the screen under the vision section, we're going to click on voiceover. Then in the very middle of the screen, you'll see voiceover recognition. We're gonna click on this, and then we're going to select image description up here at the very top. And here we are. So at the very top, you'll see the image description switch. Currently it's off, but when you turn it on, it's going to need to download some data. This may take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on how good your internet connection is. I've already downloaded all this data for testing purposes, so it's not going to download in the data for me, so we can get through this a little faster. One other set of options you have is the sensitive content output. So if, for example, someone sends you a picture that you may not necessarily want to be read aloud in this description, then you can set a warning. The default is speak. It'll warn you that the picture may have sensitive content, or you can have it just play a little jingle or a little sound, or you can have it do nothing if you're not worried about that, and it'll just describe the picture with no warning. Now the next step is typically to enable voiceover by going back to the root menu of voiceover and turning it on. But I'm going to hold off on that and show you how it looks in the pictures app and enable it via Siri. So let's go ahead and cut over to that. Okay, now we're in the photos app and I've made this little album called voiceover to just demonstrate a few photos and a couple things, what works and what doesn't. I'll start by turning on voiceover and we'll get started. Turn on voiceover. Okay, voiceover is now on. Now that we have that enabled, let's click on the first picture here in the top left-hand corner and show you how it does. Photo, December 24th, 2020. A book on a table in front of a television screen. Andy Weir. And it is, in fact, a copy of The Martian by Andy Weir on a table sitting in front of a TV screen. Let me show you how this looks in real time, though. Photo, voiceover, back button, photo, December 29th. 2020. Actions available. A bridge over a body of water in front of a city under a cloudy sky. So you can see it does take a little bit of time for it to process the image, but overall it's still fairly quick and fairly accurate. That's not to say that this is 100% perfect though, so if I back out of this... Now take a look at the picture in the top right corner. This is a series of lights strung up in a cone to look like a Christmas tree. And when I click on it... Photo. December 29th. 2020. No description available. It's a little too abstract for the image description engine to be able to process and understand what it is, so it just says no description available. And sometimes it just won't correctly identify what's in the image, such as this next picture in the second row. Photo. December 29, 2020. A group of people standing on a stage in front of a castle. So yeah, not quite that accurate either. But this does seem to be the exception rather than the rule. A lot of these are pretty accurate, and it's pretty impressive that they can do it all on device. Now there are two more things I want to demonstrate. First, that this works on video as well as photos, and that the description can change whether it's a small picture or a bigger picture. So for example, I'm going to click on this slow motion video of a fire pit. Slow motion video, January 29th, a fire burning in a metal pot. And here's how it looks when I enlarge the video. Slow mo voiceover, slow motion video. Actions available. A fire burning in a round container. Round container versus metal pot, but pretty much the same thing. But with that, that's how you enable image descriptions in iOS 14. Thank you all so much for watching. If the video helped you out, give it a like. It really helps the channel. And if you want more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on social media. Thank you all so much for watching. Catch you next time.